sit by myself. Yes, but can you stay there? Of course. Maybe we could get you a stool with a seatbelt in it. <laughs> I tripped, all right? Fine. You go now. Uh, I don't think so. You won't, babe. I won't. <laughs> you have three seconds to let go of my arm, or I'll start screaming until the cops come. One. Two. You are just a few drinks beyond driving yourself anywhere. We are so done, so over. You don't even like me, and you're still trying to control me. No, I'm trying to keep you from making a really stupid mistake. <laughs> it's too late for that. So why don't you just go away and let me have it, please? You can be mad at me, you can bitch me out, whatever you want, but the smart thing for you to do is let me drive you back to the yacht club. Fine. Okay. I need a quick phone call, and we're out of here. Fine. Your services are no longer needed. Go. Leave. Scoot. Scoot? Don't push it. May I? Why are you still here? Because I want to make sure you don't slip in the hall. The heart's probably damaged or demagnetized or something. You know, all the stupid technology we would see is, doesn't even work. You did that just to tick me off. David? Are you here? <laughs> oh, figures you went out. Oh. Again, still here? I guess if you're good, I'll, um, I'll leave. Good. Yeah, great. <laughs> Why not? Hubby's probably out finding more ways to make it look like he's my savior. Some aspirin. Okay, you're gonna need them. Hey. You shouldn't have to put up with the pain that David dishes out. Forget I said anything. I just want to sleep. Go away. Sometimes in the morning, before I open my eyes, I forget what's happened this past year. I expect to open them and see you next to me. Has that ever happened to you? Just sleep it off. What the hell are you doing in my room? What were you doing in my room? Greenlee is inside. Why don't you ask her? Oh, great. So you've been filling your head with more lies about me? Everything I've told Greenlee about you is true. Now, I'm late for something, so I gotta get going. You know, you really should treat your wife just a little bit better. I just ran into Ryan outside. Why was he here? What happened? What do you think happened? You've been drinking. <laughs> just one. Or maybe three. No, two. Definitely two. <laughs> You decided I was drinking with Ryan, is that it? You took me out, got me drunk, 
hope to get lucky? No. No, of course not. Look, I was just worried, okay? I've been calling, I've been leaving messages. Mm. You said you had to pick something up. A client called. I met her for a drink. Or two. I'm a lightweight. You know that. Oh, wait. You don't. And then... I ran into Ryan. Well, I didn't actually run into him. I fell off my stool and he caught me. So. You should have called me. Ryan took care of it. Well, having someone drive you home, that was that was a smart move. Even if that someone was Ryan? I'm glad you made home safely. You don't believe me. Of course I do. It's so depressing when the trust goes out of a relationship, isn't it? You don't believe me. I trust you completely. Hmm. But Ryan, not so much. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't upsetting you. You are my wife, right? And part of my job description is to make sure you're happy. Are you happy? I just want to sleep and have a beat tomorrow.